things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 30. A problem you might have with your Canva designs is that they look a little flat. So let's fix that. Sites like Creative Fabrica have these paper cutouts, and when you put all of the layers together, it has a 3D look. We're going to do this in Canva and take a flat design and make it look like a 3D shadow box. I'm going to use this design that I found on Creative Fabrica as my inspiration. It has four different layers to it, and you can see that each layer has a cutout so you can see the layer behind it. When you create your own, you want to work from back to front. So my base layer is going to be yellow, like the yellow of the moon and stars. Then I will add a new page and begin the rest of my layers. This will be the sky layer, and I'm going to add some moon and stars. To help with placement, I'm going to build the rest of my layers right on top of this one, and then we will separate them after. So I'm going to add a layer that will be my trees that are going to be more towards the background, and a layer of trees that I'm going to have in the foreground. Next, I will add a border. This is just a rectangle that has a large stroke and an empty fill and make it the exact same color as what your front layer will be. So I'll click on the color option and select this light blue for the front layer. Highlight your front image and the border and copy them to a new page. This will be your top layer. Go back to your original page and delete the graphics that you had in the foreground, leaving just the border and the next layer. Then change the border color to the color of the second layer. Now take this image and the border and copy it to another layer. Go back to your image, delete the graphics that are in this layer as well as the border. For each of the layered pages, select all and group them together. Open the position menu and reduce the size of your image by a few pixels. Then place the design in the middle of the page so that you have a little white border around the outside edge. Do this for each one of the layered pages. Click on the share icon and download your pages as PNG. Upload those files back into Canva and then place them on the page. If you have Canva Pro, you'll select background remover and remove the background from each of the images. If you're on the free version of Canva, go to the app section and use one of the background remover apps. Select one of your images, go over to the edit panel and then choose shadows. Select glow and adjust the settings to your liking. With it still selected, go up to the Copy Style tool and click and drag across the rest of your layers. Align all of your layers so you have one on top of the other. Then drag all three layers and resize. Use these for your social media content, digital greeting cards, online invitations, and more. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Canva tips.